I am definitely showing my age <laughs> with the title of this video, but I am desperately seeking Stella. Stella by Stella McCartney, as in the perfume. Welcome, welcome back to Self Care Karen. It's lovely to have you here. Today's video is a little bit of a departure for me. Um, I haven't really done a video dedicated to a perfume before. Um, I do speak a lot about scent. I often make the comment that I need more adjectives to be able to describe scents better. But in terms of speaking about perfume specifically, I think this is the first time. Um, but I felt that this uh, topic merited a video because once more, in the tragedy of the perfume journey that I am on, my signature perfume, the one that I adore, the one that brings me joy, has been discontinued. <laughs> discontinued. And I'm kicking myself because I did see it on sale. Um, I thought, oh, that's nice. Um, I thought, no, don't stockpile it. Don't, don't have a stock of perfume because, you know, it doesn't keep that well. Um, you know, just use up your stash and then you can buy more. Feel in abundance. It's not, it's going to carry on coming. But actually, they have discontinued the perfume. I don't really know why. I know sometimes perfumes get discontinued because of, um, ingredients that are become banned or hard to source um or sometimes they get reformulated probably for a similar reason or because you know the perfume designer house whatever you want to call them they decide that they want to reformulate the perfume and i have had that happen to me on a number of occasions for with my signature perfume didn't think it was going to happen with Stella. I am very sad. Let me show you my last box of Stella, my Stella McCartney, so you know which perfume I'm talking about. Okay, this is, there are different editions. I've not tried the other ones. This is like the original, although I have read that it was reformulated at some point, um, but I might have come to it after it was reformulated because this has been my perfume since around 2000 and... 10 maybe something like that um and this is my last box it's an eau de parfum um and it's all sealed and it will stay that way until i finish this which is a so useful um eau de parfum roller um and this is just brilliant for traveling with although as it is small and you have it in your hand luggage. I have had one of these break on me in the past, which has been a bit annoying. But anyway, um, so Stella by Stella McCartney, if you're not familiar with this um, scent, is a rose scent. But it's not like the rose scent that you get from the body shop. It's not that kind of a of a scent. Um, it's in, For me, it's intoxicating. It's very lush, um, and what I love about this perfume is uh, a little goes a long way, and as it wears off during the day, or as it as you wear it during the day, it kind of um, adapts. And then if you've been, I often wear a scarf around my neck, and I often apply my perfume around my neck, and so the scarf gets you know, impregnated with the scent, and it's just beautiful day after day after day on the scarf you know although it is different from when you first apply the perfume anyway I've been doing a little bit bit of research to see if I could find um kind of dupes or um copycat perfumes for Stella by Stella McCartney um and today's video is just really about talking through with you the results of that research that I've done I have got four perfumes to talk about that are supposed to be dupes for Stella by Stella McCartney, two of which I have not smelt yet. I'm going to smell them live on today's video, okay? So let's get started. I'm going to start off by talking about this dupe, which I bought off eBay maybe 10 years ago, eight to 10 years ago, um, and you'll see it's like a, a tin, it's a bit bashed, and it says Stella Rose, and um, très bien impress impression of Stella Rose. So très bien means very good, impression of Stella Rose. I wonder if Stella Rose is, I don't think it is one of the additions. I think they do mean Stella by Stella McCartney. And um, basically this is like a balm. It's like a, a solid um, perfume. And it does smell really nice. It's quite sweet. Um, it's not 
it's not reminiscent really of Stella by Stella McCartney, but I don't mind this. A long, a, a little bit goes a long way and you just kind of take, scoop a bit on your fingers and then you rub it onto different various pulse points, I guess is the way of saying it, but a little definitely goes a long way. And I do like the fact that this is um, transportable. I mean, this can go in your hand luggage really easily and it doesn't leak. You haven't got this kind of, unless you go somewhere really hot where it melts, you haven't got that risk. But whilst I, I like the smell, um, this is not a dupe for uh, Stella by Stella McCartney. And what's more, I've been trying to get it again, like see if they still sell it, couldn't find it on eBay. So I'm not sure what has happened to this. I do recall at the time though, they had millions of different um, dupes or Trebien impressions of um, different perfumes. Okay, then um, I found a video um, and I'll link, I think I'll try and link that video in the video description to a, a video here on YouTube with a lady who does lots and lots of um, perfume reviews talking about a potential dupe with a smell, uh, with a smell, with a <laughs> scent from Superdrug. Now, Superdrug, if you're not from the UK, is a budget um, kind of drugstore. It's a bit of an, it's kind of like CVS, uh, Walgreens, that kind of vibe, although it's much smaller. Our retail space is generally a lot smaller in the UK than they are, for example, in the US. Um, anyway, so I um, went online. I thought, oh, yes, I'm going to try this out. And this appears to be discontinued too. The, the smell is called Floral and it's from the Superdrug Layering Lab. And they've got like a range of different um, smells. It's kind of like a more like a body mist kind of a vibe rather than a or body spray I would say rather than like a perfume. Um, anyway discontinued cannot find it on the website. I did go last week though um, to the Superdrug which is kind of one of my nearest ones to where I live. It's still bus ride away so I can't like it's probably a good thing that I, I can't get there that easily but um, I did go and um, they actually had a tester for it. They didn't have any stock but had a tester. I am so glad that I got to test this perfume there because it smells vile. It smells absolutely nothing like Stella by Stella McCartney and it is just, ugh, it was like artificial and it had like kind of this um, note of smell that just reminds me like really artificial. They do, it's obviously a common ingredient for perfumes because it smells it in other perfumes but for me it just doesn't do anything. It's an off-putter rather than something that I find pleasant. And that's what I, I guess is so intriguing about the whole world of perfumes is that it is so personal. What I like is not necessarily going to be what you like. And like the most popular perfume in the world is, is allegedly um, number five by Chanel, you know, Chanel number five. I don't like that at all. Okay. I don't mind it on other people, but for me, I just don't like it. And um, yeah, you know, but it's really, really popular. Anyway, so that was the second dupe from Super that I found, which was um, the Superdrug Layering Lab Floral. No longer uh, is it being produced. I don't know if they've got plans to bring it back, but it definitely for me is not a dupe for Stella by Stella McCartney. Okay, so now we go on to the last two, which I have not smelt yet, and I'm gonna do it here on camera, and I'll just show you the two boxes that I've got. This one, I don't even know if it's a dupe, but I saw it when I was looking on the Superdrug website, and I thought, it's only $6.99, I'll give it a go, and it kind of looked, the packaging looked okay, and it said bergamot and rose musk, and I thought, okay, maybe, you know, rose, definitely ingredient for Stella by Stella McCartney. So this is bespoke, um, London woman. I d I've never heard of this brand before. I wonder if it's a super drug brand. It doesn't say that it is. Anyway, this is bergamot and rose. So I'm going to try that one. And then this is the other one that I bought, which is Divane or Divan. I don't know how you pronounce that. This is a brand that is online and they have lots and lots of dupe or smells like um, perfumes. This was £25. You can get it cheaper if you sign up to their, like you get a pop-up when you go on the website and sign up to their mailing list, I guess it is, and they'll, they'll give you a code, but I don't know what I did. I couldn't get it, I couldn't get it back. So I didn't get the discount, I paid full price for this. Um, but what I 
I'm liking about this um, brand is, so they send you this the full size version but they also send you a sample so i'm going to try with the sample and then if i like it i'll keep it if not i'll send it back so fantastic fantastic anyway let's get going with the bespoke one and by the way if you're new to my channel thank you very much for popping over i um upload videos twice a week and the uh friday's video is always beauty related so i do a lot of skincare reviews i'm a bit addicted to beauty products so this is like a legitimate way of me justifying my addiction and then on the mondays i do uh, something around my self-care more specifically around my self-care journey um medita guided meditations at the moment i'm exploring emotional freedom techniques which is very exciting okay so here's the bottle of the bespoke one um let me um Okay, I'm not going to spray this on me just in case it's violently disgusting. I'm going to spray it into the cap. I don't know if any of you guys ever do this too. Um, I could spray it into the room, but I'm just going to try in the cap because then I can sort of whiff, waft it under my nose a bit. So here goes. Okay, okay, I've got a bit on my fingers. Never mind, it'll be fine. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. I mean, who knows? It's 6.99. This could be a dupe and I could be... No, it's not a dupe. <laughs> Okay, okay, it's quite sweet, definitely not a dupe, but not, it's a bit too sweet for me, but I, this one, this one I can't take back, so I'm probably going to end up using it, but, um, oh god, how to describe this, it's not, it doesn't smell of rose, and bergamot, isn't bergamot what they put in Earl Grey tea, it doesn't smell of bergamot either, so I'm actually getting a bit of vanilla off this, but I find it really, really difficult to describe perfumes. But anyway, this was the wild card because I really, you know, no one said this was a dupe. I just thought bergamot and rose musk, it might be. But no, it's not. So put that one to the side. Okay, so we're going to go in with the, I'm really excited. Please, Olympus, please, please, please let this be a dupe. If this is not, you know, I'm going to have to spend like hundreds of pounds on eBay to get Stella McCartney's that people have hoarded and are now selling off on eBay because literally I saw a bottle like this size like really small 200 quid <sighs> oh I'm just gonna have to find another perfume but I feel like you know I have to do this so often I mean you know when I was a teenager I fell in love with Arpege by Lanvin and then they reformulated it and I don't like it anymore I mean it's all right but it's not the same it's not the same <laughs> You know, and like there are other stories. I'm not going to bore you with it. But anyway, okay, so here's the tester. By the way, this is 655 FAM. So the Devan or Devain ones are numbered. So there's like a barcode. They don't name them. And so I don't think they name them. There is another copycat place that I saw as well, but they didn't have Stella by Stella McCartney, and it's called The Essence Vault. And then there was a place in um, Kuwait, I think it was, Uni the U universal perfume and something company or something and they have a dupe for stella but and i could have got it for like 6.99 or something it was a small amount but then the postage and packing or the shipping or whatever was like 50 quid and i thought no i'm desperate but you know i've got a door line somewhere anyway so here goes i'm gonna again i'm gonna try and spray the please please work right you know okay Okay, it's not immediately, actually I can't really, I'm going to do it on me. I can't, it, it came, initially I got a bit of something floral, but then, oh. <laughs> can you smell that? I just sprayed you. Okay, great, my phone's going to stink now. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> no, okay, just... I'm just going to focus on the positive. I can send this back. But I am really, really, really wanted it to... I can't even get anything. It's like so lightweight. It smells a little bit kind of cottony. Like baby powdery. Okay, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Just because, you know, <laughs> it was eternal. <laughs> and I am an optimist, generally. I'm just going to, you know, leave it for a few seconds. A little while. And then come back and smell it again and then, yeah, decide one way or another. But um, 
if there is a product that you would like me to try out, maybe not a perfume because that is very personal, um, but let me see what you suggest. But anyway, do leave me a comment below. Um, also, just to let you know that I do have an Etsy shop, which is kind of like an extension to my brand or a part of my brand, Self Care Karen. And I sell lots of different uh, tools there to help women with their self care journey. So, for example, I sell self care challenges. I just recently completed one, actually, and I'm, I'm about to start another one. Um, which, you know, I just love it, love it, love it. And then, um, I sell guided meditation scripts. I sell EFT scripts and I also sell personalized skincare recommendations and other things. So take a look at my shop. And if you want a discount for my shop, then you can join my mailing list and you can join that on my website, selfcarekaren.com. And actually, if you join my mailing list, you get a discount for the shop and you get two free downloads, a meditation script and a weekly habit tracker. And I just want to spend a moment telling you about my weekly habit tracker, because for me, having a routine, a morning routine, and I'm really working on an evening routine has been a life saver and a life changer for me. And what my weekly habit tracker, because I, I use it every week myself, um, has, is enabling me to do is make slight adjustments to my routines um, to really kind of amp it up because I'm I'm all about like progression. It's not all, it's not about perfection. It's about progressing in your life. So if you can make small changes along the way, you'll get you'll get a lot of return from it. Anyway, if you haven't taken a look already, take a look at that, and you know you can download it and then unsubscribe. But I really want you to have the take a look at the weekly habit tracker. Okay, so let's go in. I've waffled enough. Okay, this is not a dupe. I can barely smell it. What I can smell is not altogether unpleasant, but unfortunately this will be going back because this is not, um, this is not a great <laughs> Okay, if you know of a perfume that might smell like Stella by Stella McCartney, this perfume here, I've only got one bottle left of, please, please let me know. Drop me a comment below. DM me on Instagram or one of the other social media networks that I'm on. Um, I'm disappointed. I'm, just, <laughs> I'm gonna have to just like keep my eyes out for someone send me their stash of <laughs> Stella by Stella McCartney. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. It's been lovely having you here. And just remember, you are in perfect time. See you soon.